The Ronkeer system was devised in 1904 by a Danish botanist called Kristen Ronkeer, who classified plants according to the position of perinating buds in relation to the ground surface. This tutorial will discuss four of the main life form categories, although there are many more subdivisions. In the Phanerophyte life form, the perinating buds are at least 25 centimetres from the ground level. In the Therophyte life form, the perinating buds are set as a seed. In the Hemicryptophyte life forms, perinating buds are at ground level. And in the Geophyte life form, the perinating bud is below the ground. This life form includes plants with modified storage organs such as bulbs, corms, rhizomes, tubers, tuberous shoots and tuberous roots and the perinating buds are in the bulb below the soil surface. Geophytes are a subdivision of cryptophytes, geo meaning earth and phyte meaning plant. This life form includes bluebells, tulips, daffodils and irises among many others. Therophyte Thero meaning summer and phyte meaning plant. In this life form, the perinating buds are embryonic and in the seed capsule. Annual plants live for only one year. However, therophytes can survive adverse conditions as seeds. This life form includes annuals such as common storksbill and common poppy, among others. Phanerophyte. Phanero meaning visible and phyte meaning plant visible plant. Perinating buds are on the stem at least 25 centimetres above the ground surface. Woody perennials such as hawthorn are phanerophytes. Hemicryptophytes. Hemi meaning half, crypto meaning hidden and phyte meaning plant. The name half hidden plant refers to the perinating buds being on or near the soil surface. Plants in this life form include purple loosestrife, clover, dandelion, grasses, whitlow grass and daisies, among many others. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you've learned from it and can put what you've learned into practice when identifying life forms out in the field.